The Rays spank the Red Sox when they see them, but the Yankees can't get near the Red Sox. Right now, you have one team that knows how to play this game and gets contributions from everybody and one team that can't get out of its own way. Anything Girardi does is wrong. Anything. Leaves a guy in, the guy doesn't get a hit. Pinch hits for the guy, doesn't get a hit. Pitches around the guy to get to the next guy, that guy hits a home run. Whatever it is right now, it can't work. It can't work. And how embarrassing is it that the Yankees have to go out in the ninth inning and take Melanson out with, with, the, with the bases loaded on a 2-0 count? You've got to go take the pitcher out. I mean, that bullpen can't buy you one inning, one inning of help right now. Not one inning of help. And the Yankees couldn't get a big hit right now against the Red Sox if you started them out with a guy on third base and you basically told them what was coming. They couldn't, make, get a, couldn't hit a ground ball a second to get the run home. They cannot get out of their own way against the Red Sox right now. The Yankees could not look worse. These, you couldn't see two teams that look like they're headed in the opposite directions more than the Yankees and the Red Sox. Just look at it. I mean, they do every single thing right. Line drive, I mean, one thing the, the Red Sox do wrong. That'll score Ellsbury. Pedroia goes to second. They need a hit with two outs, they get it. They need a sack fly, they get it. They need to make a play in the field, they make the play in the field. Every single play, every pitch. Turn Bay into Babe Ruth. And other than a Johnny Damon swing, that was it. That was the Yankee night. A Johnny Damon swing. Otherwise, there was no game last night. There was nothing else. There was second and third in the bottom of the sixth with the rain pouring down. And yet, Pena and Molina are up. And how sad does it look having those guys up in the bottom of that inning and Beckett who gets out of that inning? With the infield back, you can't even get the game tied. I'm telling you, if you got the game tied there at 4-4, Molina makes out, I'm telling you, the top's coming out. That's how hard it was raining in the bottom of the sixth. But this idea that let's turn this into a Jabba festival after that performance last night, that's wonderful. I'm glad he struck out everybody after he already spotted the Red Sox 4 0 in leading the game. I mean, is that what it's come to now? Now it's come to that. It's come to the fact that Jabba struck out a bunch of guys after the fact he gave up a four spot before the national anthem. A four spot that held up for the whole night. Boy, if you're a Red Sox right now, you are just laughing at the Yankees. I I'm sorry. I mean, the only thing wrong if you're the Red Sox is that you can't play the Yankees two times every day. Line up three or four day-night doubleheaders. Just beat their brains in for another week. Because right now, the Red Sox, they would, they, they would run to the ballpark to play the Yankees. There's not one thing the Yankees do right. And there's not one little blip little blip that the Red Sox make. Pena needs to hit a ground ball. He can't. Green goes into the hole, makes the play. Of course. Pena needs to hit a ground ball. Can't do it. Pena needs to field the ground ball. Can't do it. Yankees need to throw a strike out of the bullpen. Can't do it. Yankees need to get Veritek out. One, two pitch. Four, three to keep the game somewhere close where they can have a chance. Can't do it. Plus they give up a base hit on the next play. A little duck over the infield to make it 5-3. Red Sox come in on a night where they give Papelbon off. No Euclid in the lineup. Their best player is not playing. Their relief pitch has got the night off, and the Yankees still 9 up, 9 down, last three innings. Nice toughness out of the Yankees. A lot of grit last night. And I'll tell you this. I know it was two rainy nights. I know it was two rainy nights. I know it was 55 degrees. And maybe it'll be different in August. But the stadium's depressing right now. I'm sorry. It's depressing. It's like you're playing on Broadway and no one's showing up. No one's in the orchestra streets. It's depressing. The place is like a morgue right now. It has no life in it. You know what? Right now, the people who didn't want this place built and wanted the old stadium, you know what? They got a leg up right now. Because no, there's no energy in that ballpark. 
And I understand, I understand the economy, and I understand all the problems that are going on. I understand the idea of opening a new ballpark in this era. I understand all that. But you know what? It's got to get fixed. You got to pump some life back into this place. Yankees used to have a home field advantage. They got nothing now. There's nobody there. And I understand it right now. You got, you know, it was a rainy day and the two hours. I understand it. But last night the game started on time. And I understand it started raining again in the fifth inning last night or the fourth inning, whenever it started raining. But it's just got to change. You got to get some people in those seats. Got to get some life in that building. Hopefully that'll come back. Giving away one of the great home field advantages in sports history. Giving it away. And the fans are right about this thing. Change the rules about moving around before the game. Let people through those seats. Let fans go back. Let kids go back behind a dugout and yell at the Yankees and watch batting practice. Make that a part of the ball game again. Don't separate everybody at this ballpark. It's not a good idea. It's a terrible idea. When you go to the ballpark, it's supposed to be just fans and players. You know what? It don't separate everybody. I understand some people are sitting in the bleachers, some people are sitting behind a dugout, but you know what? Before the game, let everybody mill around and do what they want. Let the kids back there. Let them watch batting practice. Let them get close to the dugout. That's a big thrill. Don't take that away from them. You need to put that back. Right now, this team needs an infusion of life, and so does that ballpark need an infusion of life. And boy, I'm telling you something. If I'm the Red Sox, I couldn't be more overconfident now when it comes to playing the Yankees. I just know. I just know that I'm going to make the play, and they're not. I just know it. There's not even a question about it right now. They look like two ships passing in the night. And one's taking water. And it's not the Red Sox. Like we said, you're only going to see him three times now. Only three times in the next three months. That's it. Until August 6th, when they play a four-game set at Yankee Stadium, then play again in late August, then play in September. Just three times they'll meet in June. June 9, 10, 11, up in Fenway Park. That's it. In that time, the Yankees and the Red Sox are going to play 80-something games against other people. They're going to shape their seasons against other people. Thank God for that, because if you had the Yankees shaping their season against the Red Sox, they wouldn't even have a season. Here's the McMahon.